Sarah here at This Simple Life, and today I'm sharing with you a flip through of the My Fix, my, a fix It Grammar, and, and I'm going to be showing with you the student book one and the teacher's manual as well. They are almost exactly identical, and you will also need to do this curriculum. You will need a spiral notebook, which I just grabbed one for example. <laughs> this is my daughter's actually that she just used for our just drawing in things for our previous year that we were wrapping up, but I just grabbed this one for example, and I'm sure my son will not want a pink notebook, so I will let him, as it gets closer to school time, maybe at the beginning of summer, let him go pick out the special notebook that he will use to do this fix-it grammar. So if you are interested in the flip through, then keep watching. All right, this is the student book one, the Fix-It Grammar. I don't know why I keep wanting to put a My Fix-It Grammar, but it is Fix-It Grammar. This is the Nose Tree student book one. I know kids younger could probably do this book, but we are um, starting it. This is our first year starting it, and all the videos that I've watched, I've watched lots of videos on Fix-It Grammar, and I've heard that it's okay to start book one, in like junior high. So we are starting book one because if we love this book, we're gonna continue on with it throughout the high school years. So this is the story of the nose tree. I've never heard of this story, but I think it will be very interesting. And the reason why you need a spiral is because you are going to be copying sentences. And at the end of the year, you will have a whole story written in this spiral or the spiral that my son chooses. So that will be super interesting. I think that will really help with his writing that will kind of be like a little handwriting on the side and things like that and help with grammar and writing and just all the things. So a look at the Fix-It Grammar student book. I love it because it is cool bound. That is one of my favorite ways to have a notebook. Of course, it tells you kind of instructions, lots and lots of instructions, more instructions, kind of, it kind of tells you about nouns, homophones, and in marks and all the things. And then it will show you kind of what you need to do. Vocabulary, indent, homophones, and in marks, nouns. So, did you ever hear the story of the three poor soldiers? So, I'm assuming I'm gonna understand more about it, but day one, we're going to, we're going to copy this. We are going to obviously give it an in mark. We're gonna be probably indenting that because it has that mark right there. And obviously they want you there. They have stuff marked for a reason, like poor, destitute, wretched. Maybe they want you to look those words up. I will, of course, read all of the instructions and find out exactly what they want, me, want us to do. But so he will, my son will be taking this book and copying the sentence correctly, of course, indenting, putting an end mark where needed, and then he will also probably, I've seen some people like flip to the end of the book or like some pages, like a big chunk of the way through, they will um, leave space for um, like what you need, like vocabulary words is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so it looks like it goes on a four day school week, which is really good. But since my son is in eighth grade, I will probably require him to do one to three sentences for probably two to three days a week is what I, I think is what I'm going to do. So, or if he would like to do all four sentences, then that would be his choice. And then maybe then in a couple of days, he would do some more sentences. So then on this one, it says articles. Then you learn about articles and then they have you see, it's a whole page before they actually want you to find the articles. They give you a whole page of kind of what articles are. So you're just having this huge review of grammar for kids that are older and already know about grammar. So over here, you're going to be vocabulary. So that is a vocabulary word. I'm assuming the darker word. So it's keeping watch. So now there's two vocabulary words, keeping watch. Then you have vocabulary. You're going to end it when you write in your spiral. Then you're ha looking for the homophones. You're doing your end marks. Now you're looking for the noun, the article, A and D. 
A and or the. So that will be very, very interesting. And I really think this will be good. I've heard that it really doesn't take a super massive amount of time. And then on the next page, you're going to be learning about quotations. So basically, that's a new week. So if we wanted to do this week by week, I believe there is. Um, let me look real fast and tell you. Week 33. So that's right at 33 weeks for the whole book. So that is definitely doable. And I don't feel like it's going to be over the top because this is not all I want him to do for grammar. Of course, as it goes on, there's capitals and contractions. Let's see what else there is. Helping verbs. So it like explains everything as you go on. See, and as you go on through the year, like we're at week 10, it kind of adds on but it gently adds it on. I love the gentle approach instead of just whoop, like just expecting you to completely know everything. And of course they have review weeks and things like that. Then you have coordinating conjunctions. See, it very gently adds on to all of this. And by the time you finish this book, you have comparative adjectives. You're gonna learn all about it and fix it. And it kind of shows now you're going to fix it. This is fix it grammar now. You're going to read. Read the sentences. Look up the bold words in a dictionary. Decide which definition best fits the meaning of the word in this sentence. Add the definition to the list in the back of your notebook, which is going to be your spiral notebook, your personal spiral notebook. Um, they want you to, day one, your teacher will help you mark and fix the first passage complete and rewrite after fixing. So they want you to fix this. They want you to fix this sentence and then you will rewrite it over here correctly without you know marks and mistakes and all that. Then days two through four, they want you to use the abbreviation at the top of the page to the next of the next page and the grammar cards to help you remember how to mark your passage. Your teacher will help you with anything you miss. Remember, a mistake is an opportunity to learn. I love that. Continue to evaluate the dress ups used this week. Out of all the choices, circle the single strongest verb, adjective, and ly verb. Then you're going to rewrite. Be sure to double space and indent where indicated. Do not copy the markings, just the story. Remember to use capital letters properly. Carefully copy the punctuation and use end marks. So it completely explains it, which I love. I love explanations. <laughs> okay, and even at the back of this, like you have week one, you're learning about nouns. This is for week one, your end marks. Week one, homophone, there, there, and there. Indent, articles, quotations. So there you have a quotation right there. That is a whole week one. Then you have, oh, and it also shows stuff on the back of each of the cards too. Like your end marks and what all it means, the quotations, articles, kind of how it shows you how to, I guess, put a quotation in a story, which I love that, that they share that. Homophones, use there to indicate a place, here or there. Use there, E-I-R, for ownership. Use there for the contraction, meaning they are. So I love that, that it's going over all that. Okay, so I know some of this. And then it goes on to week four, week five and six, week seven, week nine. So you're not always gonna have a whole page. I guess just for the first week, they were introducing you to a lot of new concepts. And so they had you do that. So even though my son knows a lot of grammar, it never hurts to go over it. So, whoops, I'm kind of like flipped to another page, but my phone doesn't seem to wanna do that. Oops. Yeah, and then you have week 22, week 14, week 11, or week 17, 14, 17, I don't know. I'll probably put these, I imagine I'll probably keep these cards at the back of the book unless we need, it might be better to change them. I'm not really for sure. Then you have a glossary where it kind of shows the parts of speech. The sentences, clauses, and phrases, punctuation. It kind of shows you what the book has and all of that. It shows you sub subordinating conjunctions, parts of speech, conjunctive adverbs. So it will show you all the way. Oh, yeah. 
And that's just the student book right there. It has a lot in that student book. So the student will need a notebook and your Fix-It Grammar um, book. But the teacher's manual, and from what I understand, the teacher's manual is very much the same, except obviously it probably has the answers. <laughs> I haven't actually. It also says accessing your download. So if you, you may be able to access some things, if you need some extra stuff. I've heard that there's extra stuff. Of course, it's going to have a lot of things to the teacher, the layout. It kind of shows you exactly. So it's going to show you like step by step, mamas, how to go through this, how to do this. Whoever's a teacher here, mamas or dads. <laughs> and I'm telling you, when it, you got a teacher's book, you could conquer the world. So yeah, see, so it's going to show you the noun, the noun. It's going to show you like the exact answers. We're going to turn to our first week. That is week one. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I will show you. See, like over here, how they have all of theirs listed out. And the nouns, homophones, and end marks. It kind of shows them what they need to know. This is a student. And it has all that stuff. But you can be over here, and it shows you all this stuff shows you where the indention needs to be, where the nouns are, the story, soldiers. So, yeah. It shows you all the things, the fixes that it needs to be done, the end marks, the grammar notations, the rewrite. Then it goes on to day two. And look at that. And they, they have day two right under day one. But you have day two with a whole new page. <laughs> so, yeah. It shows you... And you might not need this much, but I love having it at my fingertips. I just love having all of the extra just in case I need it. And of course, yeah, it's just nice having that information. So in case I'm like, hmm, what is it? Like, you know, in case you're not sure, like, well, my worthy soul, well, my worthy fellow stated the little man, I will do what I can. And what's really neat is at the end of the year, you will have a whole story written. So you've got lots of things to help them with, lots of guidance pages, which I love. Even if I don't need it all the time, I love having it, like I said, at my fingertips. And yours is exactly the same. Yours has the glossary just like theirs. And I love that too, because I can be looking at my book and my son can be looking at his book. That is so nice that it's exactly the same, except mine has a lot of extra teacher stuff. So yeah. So that is a flip through of the Fix-It Grammar, the Nose Tree, book one. So I am super excited to do this book and I will definitely check in with y'all again and show y'all how well we loved it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you can see more videos just like these in the future. And I hope this was helpful for y'all, the grammar, the Fix-It Grammar, book one, the Nose Tree. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.